Hello again and welcome to the Poppy and the Witchy Show. So today what we have is we have for our blind packs we have Lilo and Stitch, we have Deadpool, we have a Series 9 Disney Princess, oops, turn around to the right side, we have a Series 2 Squishums because these are just freaking adorable, and then we have a Squishies Besties. Okay, so I'm excited for that one. There's a few I'm excited for here. We have two Series 23 Harry Potter, or not Harry Potter, sorry, Minecraft uh, blind boxes. And then we also have a Series 20 and a Series 22. We have a blind Pusheen. And then we have Squishville from Squishmallows. So I'm excited for that one too, obviously. Squishmallows are all the rage right now. And then inside of our Dragon Scale bag from the Naughty Marauder, we have a couple of Mashems. And then below them, we also have some ornaments from Hallmark that are blind packs for Harry Potter. And then lastly, we also have Cat versus Piggles. I mean, go on. Cats as Piggles. It doesn't get any better than that. I love cats. I love pickles. I mean, it had to be done. <laughs> All right, so let's get into it, starting with Lilo and Stitch. Last time I got Stitch, and here's all the ones you can get. I got the basic Stitch up there. I got this guy right over here. But here's all the ones that we can get. So let's get into it. As always, be careful with your scissors. We have, we have Lilo! We have Lilo with her camera ready to take pictures of all the vacationers. So adorable. Next, we have Deadpool. And last time we got Deadpool, we got the dinosaur Deadpool right there with his katana sword. So here are all the ones that we can get. Let's open this one up. And we have... Detective Bobblehead Deadpool. Detective Deadpool. Yeah. He's cute being little Sherlock Holmes. Except for somebody stabbed him in the back. See that little knife? Next, we have our Series 2 Squishums. Let's find the zipper. If I can. My eyesight is not all that great. I do not see a zipper. Hmm. It's okay, we'll just use the scissors and we'll cut a little notch. There we go. Unicorn with her pink and orange hair. So let's see who all we could have gotten again. Let's see. So we got from the unicorns this time. And I don't see her. Is this one a oh says find the rare pearl unicorn so that is who we found she's our pearl unicorn so everybody meet pearl hi pearl there we are you can see from last time we have one of our how to train a dragon dragons and we also got magnificent manny last time we had gotten the purple one 
And so now we have Pearl. All right, next up is our Squishem Squishies Besties. There's our zipper. All right, that came off all in one pool. We have what looks to be a little glow worm sluggy thing. And we've got some other little bug looking creature. We'll open those in just a moment. Along with what looks to be like a squishy cat or squishy bunny. So let's open up our chart. Okay, so it looks like we have coal, and then it looks like we, that's Cole the caterpillar, we have Kate the cat, and then the last one is Percy the polar bear. So let's open them and show everybody what they look like. So first I'm going to open Kate the cat. Oh, they're so squishy. Here's Kate the cat. See if we can get the camera to focus on her. She's squish, squish, squish. Squish, squish. <laughs> Let's open up Cold Caterpillar. A fun fact about me, growing up my mom's best friend was a science teacher. And she is retired now, but she had the coolest things happen to her, including a polythemus moth falling out of the sky, very heavily pregnant. And so I was able to raise the caterpillar babies into moths. And one year we actually lucked out and had some lunar moths too. So lunar moths are absolutely gorgeous. And then the polythemus moths are the ones with the giant eye on their wings. So when their wings open, if they're hunted by owls or any other predators, their eyes actually look like owl eyes. And that's supposed to help them, you know, survive a little bit better. And next we have Percy the polar bear. Look at him, he's laying down because he's so tired. Squeeze, squeeze. And Percy looks like he is covered in glitter. I don't know if my camera can focus that well. It's trying. There we go. Look at that. Glitter. Percy is just covered in glitter. So I'm going to stick these guys back in their little ball. And then up next we have a Series 9 Disney Princess. Series 9. Let's get into it. So on the last video, I had a Series 7, which was Ariel, and a Series 8, which actually ended up being the Beast instead of being Belle. So here is the little room on the outside. Let's see what the inside is supposed to look like. Stairs marble floors, a very ornate banister. So I have a guess that it is Cinderella and there we are, Cinderella in her mother's dress that the mice helped her recreate and improve upon after everything that happened. And she was getting ready to go for the ball and then of course the sisters happened to ruin it in their attempts to keep her from going. Growing up, Cinderella was my absolute favorite story of all the Disney princess stories. So here she is inside her little room. She doesn't quite fit all that well. That is a very big skirt with the little room in there. So let's see if we can get her to fit a little bit better. There we go. She's a tight fit. She will not fall out like the others have been. So. That's a good thing. Put her back there. I do have the others from last time. 
Beast and Ariel. You see how she's shaking and Beast is leaning. So I like the fact that Cinderella fits in there nice and snug so that way she doesn't fall over. Alright, next we are going to open up the uh, Series 23 Minecraft blinds. go from the nether the little hog creature is ready to shoot us I don't remember the names it's been a few months since I've been on Minecraft just because you know real life went back to work not a lot of time but hoglins I think is what they were called they don't like you stealing gold or is that the one that you have to wear gold to keep them from shooting you. <laughs> I can't remember. It's been, it's been a while. So, with that note, I actually play on two different servers. I have not been on either one recently. Uh, but I play on Cedar Craft and I play on Seeding Craft. So, Seeding Craft was started by some of the Cedar Craft people. Uh, when there was a lull in the server just to kind of keep things going and on there we actually started a friend and I started building Hogwarts but we're about to reset the map and so we're gonna have to start all over again and it was a little mini Hogwarts town so that was a lot of work but it's okay I plan on probably making the Weasley's burrow for my house on that server so we'll see how that goes next and I will probably be recording some of that to share here on this channel as well because I mean Harry Potter and Minecraft I mean why not mix my two favorite things right so let's see who we got in this blind pack and we have Steve in some leather armor so he's not going to survive long unless he builds a house and hides at night <laughs> until he can get some stronger armor Okay, let's open first our series 20. Okay, nowhere on the box does it show what we can get at all. So it's an entire mystery. Except for this one, it does include a little character sheet. So I'm going to show that up here real quick. All right, so we have a trader, we have a pig carrying a chest. Uh, let's see, uh, a few other characters, the little key guys, the iron golem. Okay, I've had some from this series before and I turned this golem, he's not an iron golem, but he's another type of golem. I turned him into a necklace, it did not sell, but as it turns out, it gave just enough weight to make it a nice play toy for my cat. So I hung it from my exercise bike and she just bats at it all day long. The little guy in the middle makes it just enough weight that she doesn't have to bat at it too much. And she has a lot of fun. So, I mean, can't beat that, right? I mean, it was supposed to be a necklace. He was a duplicate. So, but now I get to play one and now the cat plays with one. Up next, on the side here, we have our next little character. And look at him, he is so tiny. I have no idea which character this is supposed to be, but he is adorable. And he looks like he's a little king with a scepter and what looks like a crown. And he looks like one of those villager guys, but I know he's not a villager per se. clear off my desk a little bit here before we get into series 22. So as you can see there is some hints as to who we can get. You see a llama, I see the snow golem, I see a zombie villager and so on including a creeper. Obviously can't forget the creepers. Always need to watch out for them. Okay, so there's no insert inside the box to show us who we can get, so let's just get into it. Oh, 
So I looked at it this way and I was like, what is that? And then I realized you turn it sideways and oh my gosh, it's an Arctic fox. He's the little white fox and he's carrying his berries. So again, if you don't know me, I absolutely love foxes. I mean, I have one tattooed on me. And if you saw the first video, I have a ton of fox plushies. So these are my favorite animals ever in Minecraft. I mean, obviously they don't do much except for run around, look cute and make cute sounds and eat berries, but they're adorable. <laughs> Over here somewhere on the other shelf, I actually have the Lego version of one of the red foxes. Okay, so next we have the Pusheen blind. Let's go ahead and open up this egg. All right, that zipper test worked way better than the others. All right, just to show you who all we can get. There it is. I know it's a little hard to see because, you know, rounded paper and all, but, or plastic. Oh, they really keep it secret. <laughs> He's so squishy. He's a little stress ball. Look at him. He's a unicorn too. Look at his little tiny horn. And those little wings. So cute. Look at his little pink tail. He's got a little moon on his belly there. You gotta love a squish. Alright. So now let's go ahead and get into one of the ones I'm most excited for, and this is the Squishville Squishmallows. So I got these from Box Lunch. Uh, I used to work there. Again, you didn't see the first video where I got some blinds from Box Lunch. That's where I first worked when I moved to Houston, and that was an amazing place to work for. So just to let you know, they do partner with Feeding America, so every $10 spent in the store before tax, provides one meal for a food insecure family. So this doesn't mean that the food goes straight to homeless shelters. It could be anybody who's struggling to put both, you know, money towards bills and money towards food. They need to have a roof over their head. They're able to pay the rent, but maybe they're a little short on food. Then, you know, there's the food banks and things like that. And so Feeding America helps provide meals for those families. And so again, every $10 spent in store before tax is one meal through the uh, organization Feeding America. And they partner with all the local food banks wherever they are located. So ours is with Houston Food Bank. You can ask whenever you go, uh, go in, uh, you can ask that they round up your change to the nearest whole dollar and that change is then donated to the food bank. So if you ever go to box lunch, Again, things are a little bit higher priced, like shirts are almost $30, they're like $28.90. So that's two meals for, per fan, uh, two meals per a shirt purchase. And oftentimes they have deals like you buy a shirt, get 30% off and things like that. And then things like this, sometimes they're almost $10. So if you get two of them from the table, then you get at least one meal donated through Feeding America through your purchase with Box Lunch. So. If you want to find a way to support all of your local um, food uh, banks and uh, organizations, things like that, Box Lunch is a really good one to go for. So let's go ahead and open up our squished Milo. Ooh, here we go. Oh, look at that little skirt. It's coming off. <laughs> Aww. So we appear to have a little mermaid narwhal unicorn panda like creature <laughs> it didn't come with who all these could be so i'm going to have to look that one up later but so cute look at the sparkles so poppy has another sparkly friend to join her <laughs> okay and before we get into the harry potter blinds for this episode. We have Cats versus Pickles. 
So again, here's a couple on the back. A skeleton, a super cat, ladybug cat, looks like a rainbow cat, and another kind of rainbow cat. Let's see who we got. <laughs> that is cute. We have a pizza cat. Look at him. He's a little beanbag type stuffy. Listen to that sound. It's so good. He's got little pepperonis, little mushrooms, little green bell peppers. He is so cute. I will definitely be collecting more of the Cats vs. Pickles. Alright, so inside the Dragon Scale purse, we have two Mashems for Harry Potter, and we have the three Harry Potter ornaments from Hallmark. So let's go ahead with our Mashems. Now, I have collected almost all of the Mashems previously before I started this channel. Uh, so we have Harry, Crookshanks, a Mandrake, and the Sorting Hat. I believe Sorting Hat and the Mystery One are the ones I do not have. Let's go ahead and see who we have. And it's a duplicate for me because I already have Crookshanks. Look at that little grumpy fish. He says, Stop squishing me. Let yourself squish him all. So I'll squish him all. Sorry. Okay. So, duplicates. These. Most of the time, if I have duplicates, I would turn into jewelry, but these actually have liquid in their head, so it's not really great for turning into jewelry because then he'll leak out and he'll be all deflated. So what I think I will be doing with my duplicates, such as Shanks, uh, since I do have a friend over in England who collects Harry Potter things as well, Miss Ellie, she's the one who created our banner and our avatar and our watermark all from the same image, so I will be sending her a few of my duplicates. And in the future when I have a lot, a lot of extra duplicates, I might be doing a giveaway. Speaking of that, in the future, upcoming months, I will be doing a giveaway because as you can see, I do the Legos from Minecraft and Harry Potter down here. I accidentally purchased two of the Ravenclaw Lego books where they open up into the classrooms, so I will be giving away the unopened one. But that is in the future, so keep a lookout for that. I will probably be doing that around Christmas time, depending on how many subscribers I have at the time, okay? So if we can get up to at least, at least 150 su subscribers by Christmas, then we will be doing that. Giving away the Ravenclaw book. In fact, um, let me go ahead and show you what that one is. It's down here. Let's see. Oops. See where my finger is pointing? That is the Ravenclaw one down over there. That's the one I have a duplicate. I have not opened it and I've kept it in its box away from dust and everything else. So that way when we do a giveaway in the future, again, 150 subscribers by Christmas, I will give that one away. If not, then when I do reach 150 subscribers, so if it doesn't happen by Christmas, if it does roll around into the new year, I will be doing a giveaway at 150 subscribers for the Ravenclaw book, Lego set. All right, speaking of the new year, if you don't know, the Potter Collector had a, um, he's partnered with the Wizarding Trunk and they were able to do uh, a limited edition trunk and that went on sale a few uh, a month or two ago now, uh, depending on when I post this video, uh, since it is pre-recorded. But my boyfriend and I stayed home all day waiting for noon for it to open up and the website kept crashing multiple times, but we were finally able to get in. My boyfriend, he was able to get in and get one for me. So that hopefully, they said, will be coming around next year. So it was a pre-order, so hopefully those boxes are going to be out 
sometime early next year in 2022. And when that does arrive, we will be opening it here on this channel. Okay, so back into our mashups. We have one more mashup. Let's see who we get today or this time. Oh my goodness. <laughs> that does happen quite often with the mashups, but I have yet another Crookshanks. Our little grumpy friend here. Well, I'd be grumpy too if I were trying to get rid of Scabbers knowing that he wasn't an actual rat and that he was really a death eater. Yeah, and nobody would believe me and got mad at me for trying to eat him. Little crookshanks. Now that I have several of them, again, in the future, after 150 subscribers, we'll do the uh, Ravenclaw Lego book set down there, the one that's unopened, and then uh, throughout all of 2022, I guess I will be doing different giveaways for my little Masham guys and other duplicates I get that I cannot turn into any uh, jewelry pieces. So now that brings us to our mystery ornaments from Hallmark. Okay, so let's just see who all we can get. I'm going to hold one up while I read off of the other one. Okay, so we can get Harry. We can get Hermione. We can get Voldemort or Dumbledore. Our friend Hagrid or Luna or... A golden snitch and I have three of these to open today so let's get into them let's see there's the zipper it didn't quite work all right let's see let me just pull apart and we have Lord Voldemort Look at him without his nose. So angry. Angry. <laughs> Let's see what we get next. And we get Dumbledore. There's Mr. Dumbledore right there. Aren't his glasses cute? This is our last one for today. Let's see, and our zipper's right here. Again, these come from Hallmark if you go looking for them. That's where I found mine. In fact, it even says Hallmark right there. Okay, I opened it a little too quickly. I don't know if you caught it on screen, but we have the snitch. We caught a golden snitch. We caught a golden snitch. How awesome is that? So that is a great way to end this video today. And Poppy and I will see you next time. Have a good day.